about 20 miles from Kisangani, which is on the bend of the River Congo. And on that uh, tremendous 20 mile journey, we've then moved off to a country lane, and I'm visiting with Parliamentary Under Secretary for the Foreign Office, my colleague Henry Bellingham. We're here in a village where they've been part of a water source program and we've been able to just see down in the valley where they've got the spring water coming straight off the hill has been captured and put into some pipes and then with a good solid concrete surround this is part of a program which unicef has been carrying out with different money so uk taxpayers have been able to make a real difference to the quality of life of these villages where at last now they have not only a secure water source one which is not in a swamp not giving rise to problems with malaria and the disease that accompany marshland but now they have a secure water source which is going to improve the quality of their lives and above all their health because it actually is saving huge amounts of money in the ongoing health problems from bad water sources such as diarrhoea and sickness and that lack of confidence which a village carries when it isn't able to secure the basic needs in life. And so it's a tremendous uh, opportunity for us to witness really good development in action which is part of the relationship that we have with the Democratic Republic of Congo and here we're able to see things happening locally in a way that makes a difference to lives. And it's a small amount of money, $1,200, but uh, has really made a very, very big impact indeed. It's a classic example of how a relatively small amount of money can actually transform a village. Absolutely, Henry.